hopefully you guys can see me pretty good so I guess I won't vlog today using the Sony since my other camera got stolen so today we're going to be learning about some uh, networking I guess so I'm headed up to the church right now I'm supposed to be meeting some guy from Spectrum which those guys service uh, sucks so we have nothing but issues and I'm supposed to be redoing the, the whole network so, uh, so I'm going to go and show you guys what that's like So essentially what I have to figure out is how to rewire all of this. Uh, the problem we're having is the Wi-Fi was going out and I just found out we're at the base uh, internet speed from Spectrum which is 100 megabits a second and we're running like 30 different devices on here or even more and the, uh, the Wi-Fi will kick off so I'm going to upgrade the system. It's going to take a little time. I'm going to have to somehow clean this up and, you know, maybe run some new wires or whatever whatever it is I got to do. Um, <clears throat> we got one. I think this is a 16-port switch. A 12-port switch. That's running all the computers right now. And there's one upstairs. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to upgrade this. And there's uh, the other switch upstairs. Alright, so this one here, we'll lift this up. This is a 16 port Ethernet switch. Sorry for the sirens in the background. I don't know if you can see that. This is a, 10, a 16 port 10100 uh, Ethernet switch. This has been here for like 10 years or so. So technology has progressed quite a bit <clears throat> since then. So this is coming out, the new one's going in. Alright, so there we go. It's mounted on the wall. It's on, everything's good. Got right, internet and move this out the way. And now it's time to go do the uh, wireless router. Oh, it's so early. I guess this is um, day two. I didn't have time to finish yesterday because there's so many people and so much stuff going on that it's like six six fifty right now so I'm gonna go finish the whole network and get everything going and come back and go to sleep so sorry you guys don't get to see my beautiful face uh, so still here at this church at the church and this beast mode thing right here this is a Netgear Nighthawk X6 that I installed so that's running all the equipment around here yeah so to wrap everything up I still have a couple of things I gotta do I gotta figure out what's on this network drive and the switch is still running good and if you guys like got any dead spots in your home or office or anything <clears throat> I had them purchase this right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's an Eero. Um, it's, an, it's called an access point. So that pretty much extends the range of your wireless signal even further. And it fills any dead spots. Like if you go up to a, a room in your house or whatever and the Wi Fi signal drops out, you'll put like an Eero somewhere over there and it will pick up the signal and make it a little bit stronger. It is hot, I swear. I know today's vlog wasn't like exciting. It was two day vlog, it wasn't super exciting, but I mainly want to um, be more informative on like other things that I do. 
So yeah, that's all. That's all I really wanted to do. And installing that net, this wireless network rather, was pretty tedious. <clears throat> and it's, it's literally no joke. Like if you make one mistake, it'll screw everything up. Go so to sum it all up: 17 cameras, four iPads, six computers, and some something else. I can't. Even, I can't even remember. Oh, the network switch. Had to get a new one of those. Um, so yeah, it, it was. Uh, it's always an experience to do stuff like this. You know, I've been doing it for a while, and hopefully, guys, you, you know, learn something that I've been telling you about the Eero, about the the wireless access point. You're gonna have one in your home that will fill in gaps. Uh, the Arlo uh, sec wireless security cameras, which are pretty good because you can monitor things from your phone. Or your tablet or whatever from wherever you're at they work on Wi-Fi and cellular signals so which is pretty convenient if you like have a lot of break-ins or you know just want to be cautious about your property invest in something like that they have them at Fry's Electronics and uh, Best Buy or even get them on on uh, Amazon uh, eBay or whatever wherever you can buy them from uh, I suggest that you do that um, so if you like today's vlog, you know, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. And there's going to be a product review coming up. My company sent me a microphone to review, so I'll be doing that. So see you next time. Peace.